just come from the crossroads on the uh, Millennium Way and I'm moving up to the bottom of the sunken road. The plans for uh, Burley Fields are now out, that is the, the site plans with the plots on all the roads and uh, the pedestrian way. So today I'm going to be following what is designated a pedestrian way on the Taylor Wimpy plans. So in theory I should be able to reproduce this walk <coughs> when the housing estate is actually built. Uh, I've put up some photographs to uh, help orientate where I am. So this is the bottom of the sunken road now. Uh, obviously there would be houses to right and left here and there's a road that bisects the bottom of uh, of this sunken lane. Now this is designated as a pedestrian walkway however uh, the hedges aren't laid in so to speak on the site plan until about halfway up whether that's just the site plan or they're going to get rid of the hedges I don't know uh, it would be a shame as you can see it's a very old road because of the depth uh, of it generally and uh, the hedges are lovely and uh, I'm quite fond of it so we're more than halfway up now and you can see it's quite a nice little view down there just looking towards Doxy. So in theory, I should be able to do this when the estate is completely built. Be shielded from the housing estates either side. <laughs> in theory, it won't look a lot different to this. So that's going to be interesting to see if that's the case, a bit of a steep climb, but uh, eventually it levels out into this area here, which uh, again will be covered in houses. <laughs> will be a uh, part of the estate and indeed this field now this road here this carries on to the farmhouse which has got very few uh, like bits and pieces little small fields really around it left all the rest is going to be houses so now on the map I'm on the, uh, the turn off where it points and this is uh, this is the designated green lane. So this again is on the Taylor Wimpy site plan as a pedestrian walkway. So in theory, this should be uh, exactly how it is now. Uh, with the hedges either side and should be able to walk down here with big oak trees in front of you and houses either side but you shouldn't see them so well I will see if that's the case. So the green lane comes out uh, into this area here which is the clearing as I call it. Uh, I did a video on this a while ago. It's changed a bit because of the newt uh, proof fencing. Our uh, 
uh, the, the weird stuff that's everywhere. <laughs> this is to uh, ensure that any newts uh, are captured and relocated to a friendly, newt friendly area. We're presuming, uh, well we've somebody spoken to the, the guys responsible and uh, indeed they have uh, collected some great crested newts and relocated them so obviously the area has got them here uh, not what just happened in the clearing so this area here is going to be the green space part of the green space for the estate so all around here this is all going to be all landscaped and nice and the pond hopefully will be algae free and neat friendly and we'll say about that but uh, yeah it's uh, it's a green space so and once it's landscaped I'm sure this will be nice this whole area here is going to be a, a nice place to come so like I said the route I've just followed technically when the uh, estate has been built I should be able to follow this pretty well and then you come up to here and more houses so you've got some uh, newt uh, proof action here uh, all this houses and indeed here This is actually a bridleway which uh, they're going to uh, they're going to build over effectively. They're going to presume that the, the green lane uh, there is uh, is going to substitute for that, uh, which is kind of fair enough if they maintain it, obviously. But uh, yeah. So uh, there you have it, really. So the green lane, <coughs> so the green lane carries on uh, from here, and that meets up with the bridle path that runs parallel to the golf course at the side of Castle Field. So that's all going to stay on the field itself. The, uh, the new proof uh, stuffs all around it. So this whole area, of course, is going to be built on. These are the various types of newt traps that they've got. The little buckets, uh, seemingly nothing in that. And uh, they've got these tiles where uh, they like to hide in the day. And here is the uh, area that they've chopped out of the, uh, the hedge here. There's a crab apple tree actually. Uh, crab apple strewn across the floor here. So this is going to be a road. Uh, it's part of the estate that is, you know, uh, and uh, and it, it comes through and uh, it goes down there. So I'll keep you posted on uh, any developments and uh, an update it all. And in a couple of years I'll retrace this route, which hopefully uh, I'll be able to do. The, uh, uh, the estate's coming guys. See you later. <laughs>